You're on. Do this year's presidential elections feel like a little extra to anyone else? It seems as though how politicians appear on camera on social media is beginning to matter more than their actual platform. Uh, although media has always influenced public policy, it seems as though their role is evolving from a linked institution from the government to the people to a main determinant in the presidential election. Well, the rise of a certain individual politics definitely causes me and the rest of the world to raise an eyebrow at the United States. Hello, my name is Esmeralda Impressive. Today I'll be discussing how Trump's rise in American politics is the result of a spoiled and capitalist linkage institution. Uh, this unnecessary capitalist shift in the media's portrayal of politics uh, can potentially harm U.S. global relations, threaten fundamental American values, and ultimately harm American perspective of current issues, if left unchecked. I'll be going over two contentions, the modern media coverage, as well as the emergence of Trump, as well as going over particular impacts. So with my first contention, the modern media coverage. Uh, it's capitalistic, as we know. In America, that's not much of a surprise, considering that we are a capitalist nation. Uh, media organizations short and simplify and exaggerate news to get more profit and consequently more viewers, and it's just this ongoing relationship. This process is known as sensationalism, and according to Ransahoff, MD, who studies the dangers of sensationalism, he says, because democracies rely on an informed citizenry to debate and decide among policy choices, sensationalism may threaten effective involvement by desensitizing the public information. DailySource.org actually went on further to say that if we really wanted to get educated, nonprofit media organizations rate far higher on educating the public than for profit uh, entities. Scrolling down uh, any internet social media, you'll see that it's a lot more easier to come in contact with profit organizations and to get their opinions rather than nonprofit organizations. <laughs> After decades of sensationalism, America is consequently full of, full of misinformed entertainment junkies and news industries waiting to make a quick buck on the next big thing. Presidential uh, election years are huge and amazing for these pastors for this very reason, but the emergence of a Trump is even better. Uh, back when Obama was first running for president, John McCain made the accusation that uh, Obama was like the Paris Hilton of politics because he was receiving all of this undeserved attention just for being African American. Well, today I'm making the assertion that Donald Trump is the Kim K of politics. Kim Kardashian, for those of you clarification. Uh, by looking at the origins, qualifications, and even the personality traits, you'll, I'm sure you'll agree with me by the end of my speech. Both are capitalistic products of an elite first class that use their own controversial stigma and media to their advantage. We know them as reality stars. Uh, Trump had his own TV series, for those of you that didn't know, that, uh, The Apprentice, which had about seven seasons and with the Kardashians keeping up with the Kardashians. Uh, if you look more at their origins, uh, uh, Trump's birth movement in 2012 was lobbyist movement, mostly, from, or mostly by his behalf, but he wanted to see Obama's birth certificate to prove his citizenship. Uh, Trump's rise in politics is, personally, I think it's even pettier than Kim Kardashian's first starring role in entertainment, if you get my drift. Uh, when questioned about it in 2013, Trump said, I don't think I went overboard. Actually, I think it made me quite popular. I do think I know what I'm doing. Despite his popularity, does he really know what he's doing, though? His qualifications for presidency, at least there's none involving politics, it's a lot similar to Kim's famous for being famous approach in life, I guess. But as mentioned before, the media has always been around to promote presidential campaigns. However, what makes Trump different? Well, he has benefited from about two billion in free media coverage, as opposed to Hillary Clinton's seven hundred and sixty-four million. That's billion and million difference. And uh, he goes on to say that if he goes on one of these shows, their ratings double, they triple, and that gives you power. This is actually true because Fox News Channel, CNN, and NSNBC have all done uh, really good ratings after he went on their shows. Not just that, but if we look at other appearances that Donald Trump and other uh, politicians have made, it definitely goes to show that uh, media has a firm grip on politicians and what we believe to be true. Uh, it's a mutually beneficial relationship between Trump and the media, hence the spoiled and the spoiled with his institution. But what about the people? Well, we're just forced to kind of legitimize whatever broadcast coverage is on, no matter how biased the news is or how underqualified Trump really is. It, tying it back to Ramsop, because democracies rely on an informed citizenry to debate and decide, if we affect what we're exposed to, we're affecting our own outcome as well. Uh, moving on to the impacts. The negative stigma and controversy that surrounds Trump, this reality star, reflects America horribly. U.S. News even went on as far to say that in Trump, the world sees the ugly American. The UK and Mexico have already suggested banning him, and global leaders from South Korea, Argentina, Germany, and even the Pope have already advocated against him. I know he preaches a lot about making America great, and I'm not going to go into detail about a lot of his controversial discussions because that's not what my speech is about. However, 
Good luck making America great again with all of his separate alliances because of his personality. <coughs> However, the spoiled ink institution isn't all that bad. We're probably going to see a lot more non-politicians in politics, which probably means better representation and a more responsive government. We already have celebrities like Will Smith and Kanye West saying, yeah, I'm going to run for president. If he could do it, why can't I? Well, we also risk getting more Trumps. At the end of the day, as theatrical as it may be, the U.S. government is not a reality television show. <coughs> The presidency should go to the best candidate that has the most to offer America, not which candidate will be able to receive the most from America. But if we don't address this form of linkage institution soon, more Trumps will attempt to run for presidency, or even worse, Trump might actually win. I encourage you, my fellow peers, to actually look at the president's uh, platforms and see what you agree with and what you don't, because that's honestly the best we do for ourselves. It's the least we can do for ourselves, because America deserves it. Thank you. All right, well, the proposition is uh, identified, but it, 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 the, frame, the phrasing of it is a little bit awkward, and it does sound like it contains some value-based uh, inferences that are there, so that could be potentially problematic. Uh, the contents, actually, I thought that there were two previews uh, that you were talking about, and the second one appears to be the actual preview, so I'm not exactly sure what the first set of three issues is all about, and uh, they mostly get shunted aside. Uh, in the organizational structure, I heard you start on that first point, but I never heard the transition to the second point, and there's a lot of explanation. There's a huge number of analogies that are being drawn to the Kardashians, and I appreciate the uh, uh, comparison that's being made there. I think that probably illustrates the point that you're talking about pretty effectively, but because I think you're rushing through some of that description and you're enjoying uh, the fruits of the uh, comparison, that you sometimes miss the declarative statement that makes an inference on those particular points. And uh, the delivery complicates that because you're often rushing. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> that was exciting. Okay. Was there rain in the forecast today? I don't remember yeah. rain yeah. in the forecast today. Dang. All right. Um, I, I, I thought that you had an expert that you quoted a couple of times that sets up this uh, precedent that suggests that there's something about the way the media covers information that's going to end up distorting this. Why this is substantially different from past elections and how social media is a part of that process, I think needs to be explained a little bit more. Uh, the criticism that you're presenting, I think, is a reasonable one. Uh, the analogy to the Kardashians kind of explains that idea, but I'm not sure that that helps prove the particular point that you're talking about. Um, like I said, I thought there were some good examples of the uh, way that Trump has utilized the media to get attention. I, I don't know that uh, everybody is as poorly informed as they are, as you suggest they are. I think there's a way to prove that they're poorly informed, especially about Trump on some of those issues. Uh, you know, it's, it's surprising to me that Republicans might be supporting Trump because he seems to be the antithesis of some of the values that they've argued for. So how that you know, that, that would be maybe a good way to reflect this notion that people aren't well informed about his positions, they only know him by his celebrity. And I think that you needed a little bit more of that kind of information. Uh, instead, I think you, you occasionally go for the, the um, 
you know, the, the low hanging fruit, so to speak, you know, the UK and Mexico are talking about banning him. The Pope disapproves of him in some way. Uh, I'm not exactly sure that that advances the point that you're talking about, which is that the, the media that we have now is emphasizing Trump for profit motives. I'm not sure that those points are relevant to that particular claim. All right. Thank you.